Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is a video comparing Birds of Prey with Joker. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, I've just got back from the movie, I have just reviewed it for all of your ears and eyes and associated appendages. And one of my main complaints over this film was how it glorified the beating of every single man out there. Um, and how everyone is lauding this film as something utterly fantastic and female empowerment and feminist and misandrous and blah 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 blah. Uh, and how what a stark comparison it was basically to the Joker movie and the sustained hate campaign that film had. Um, and there's a few bits and pieces in this film. Uh, essentially, this is a girls versus boys movie. Every single man in this film is a scumbag. There is no man, there's no single man with a redeemable quality about him. There's genuinely not. Uh, you think there is one, but even he turns out to be a dick as well. So I want to explore that. And I want to explore very specific key individuals uh, and how, I, I guess it's just media bias, isn't it? And yeah, I just want to explore it. I think it'll be an interesting dive and it's really difficult to argue with it as well. It's okay to hate on, well, it's popular to hate on uh, the white dudes in this day and age. Quite literally, um, out and out allowed, but you know, a little bit of constructive critique over Birds of Prey. Oh, and you're a bigot. Uh, so it really does expose people. Now, first and foremost, um, Birds of Prey on Rotten Tomatoes, right? Which is not the be all and end all. Of course, it's not. It's got 83% of the critics with 208 in, uh, and 88% of the audience with how many's in there? Uh, with eight eight 855, it's quite a lot, to be honest, for such an early on one. Um, and Joker, Joker's had a lot of reviews now, obviously, so this is different, and, it, and it's going to be, it is a very, very different score. However, 68% with 544, so basically about double, um, and a lot, lot less. So there's definitely some... We need to discuss some of the critics here, for sure. Now, as we go into this, there's, there's two in particular that I want to point out first, right? So The Guardian had a very interesting review of Joker. Joker review, the most disappointing film of the year. Now, that's quite a hefty, uh, you know, tagline to have for a review, isn't it? This is Peter Bradshaw. Now, Peter Bradshaw has, he, has seen Birds of Prey. Um, Birds of Prey. A blitz of bad taste. But still scored more than the Joker. How? How? Is it just because of Margot Robbie? I bet you it is. Oh, look. Mesmerizing Margot Robbie returns as the hyperactive supervillain in a crass but weirdly watchable Suicide Squad spin off. Sorry? Sorry. So it's just a woman, is it? How very interesting. And again, we get it in here. Look, why so serious? Todd Phillips solemn, but shallow supervillain origins move is a strong performance by Joaquin Phoenix, but is weighed down by realist detail and tedious material. But yeah, you know, can you, we started to build up a picture of the, the huge bias here. Now, some of these are, again, I've picked out all of the good ones, right? You can do that, obviously. Now, it, it continues, it's just like Harley Quinn's persona, Birds of Prey is a chaotic ballet of madness and action where the rules don't apply. It throws caution to the wind and proceeds with reckless abandon. Birds of Prey is a celebration of women in their most real and flawed form, badass and unencumbered by the need to impress anyone, especially men. You go, girlfriend. Um, and yet in, in The Joker... You know, we're talking about while it succeeds in apping the superficial specs... Uh, aspects of Martin Scorsese's style, Joker lacks the intelligence of gravitas of Scorsese's best work. A movie of a cynicism so vast and pervasive as to render the viewing experience even emptier than its slapdash aesthetic does. But this is okay. Bunch of women running around abusing men. Constantly. Is that not cynical? That every single man is a douche canoe? Literally every single man in that film sucks. Okay, we're starting, to, we're starting to build up a bit of a bias here. Bit of a bias picture. Bleak and juvenile from uh, Guardian. 
If you're feeling insufficiently anxious in your life, Joker could be just the ticket. If not, look elsewhere to be entertained. But, but again, what? A bunch of women running around beating men? It's hard to say if the muddled Joker makes sense, uh, makes of itself arises from confusion or cowardice, but the result is less of a depiction of nihilism than a story about nothing. Okay. Um... And again, like we continue down here. Look, too much is crammed into the first hour, and often there is far more style than substance. But the last half hour is perfect, and it left me wanting more. And you give that a four out of five. I'm so confused. And again, I'm not. What I'm not here to do is to discredit these people's opinions of Birds of Prey, right? Because Birds of Prey definitely has its audience, and I've reviewed it. My opinion is, if you like Suicide Squad. It's a better version of Suicide Squad. So you'll like it if you like Suicide Squad. If don't, if you don't like Suicide Squad, don't get anywhere near this movie because it's not it's not for you. Um, but again, look here. Uh, you know, we we take a look at this comment here. The only time I felt I've not felt talked down to by a comic book movie that purports to be feminist. I I don't know if you're a dude or a, or a girl, but. This the movie. Every single man was a, was an arsehole. There was no nice men in this film, so I'm. I would probably say that you're not a dude. Um, it's just very, again a film that is not nearly as uh, transgressive or anarch anarchistic as it clearly thinks it is, but which still packs enough charm and gleefully brutal go go. Um, just what I mean, like brutal fighting, blah blah blah. But then this movie had a four or five month hate campaign from the media. An absolute hate campaign. Don't go watch this movie. It needs to be banned. It needs to be cancelled. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. All this. It was insane. It was insane. This movie comes out, Birds of Prey. A movie where countless men are murdered. Countless men are murdered, right? And also... Spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert, click off. Black Mask is killed at the end. So he's not, he's never coming back. So is Zaz, he's gone. Or Zaz, Zaz, he's gone, right? Joker only kills nasty people. That's the whole point of the Joker. And oh my God, uh, the whole world loses their minds. I'm not seeing any bias here, because I am. Birds of Prey, the Mary Sue. Fucking course the Mary Sue loved it, right? They absolutely loved it. Birds of Prey... Uh, is everything I've been wanting for in a female-led comic movie. Five out of five hyenas. What's this? Uh, hold on. Joker Review. Delivers a masterclass in doing the most but saying nothing. Two out of five. You what? Same person. This is the same person. Princess Weeks. Weeks. Weak on the old noggin of intelligence, I think. Man, I love it when a movie delivers on everything it signs up to do. And does it with an effortlessness that bellies uh, or belies the obvious sense of care and work that was put into it. With Birds of Prey director Kathy Yan and writer Christina Hodgson have delivered unto us a film that I think is both really fun and energetic. But also brings to the big screen five really great female comic book characters who have not often been given their due. Um, and it, so it goes into bits of the story here, right? Okay. But time for a slot. Time for a lot of people to collect their pound of flesh, including Roman Sionis, Black Mask, played by the deliciously darkly camp Ewan McGregor. Through Sionis, we start to build the connection. Blah blah blah. There's no comment here about how men are depicted in this movie. What's this? We need to talk about Zazie Beetz' role in the Joker. The one of the only nice. It doesn't matter if it was a figment of his imagination. The same, that's a nice character that he didn't murder, and it's a good character. But we've got to talk about him, don't we? We've got to talk about him, our good God. You know? Of course we do. We have to talk about it. So bad, right? And it goes up. What is Sophie's larger role in the context of the movie? Because aside from being the one person who doesn't treat Arthur like garbage, she is thinly drawn. If you've seen Birds of Prey, you'll know why my eyes are raising so high. I'm not trying to get wrinkles, but good God. Where's where's your article about how just one note every single man is in Birds of Prey? Like, Jesus Christ. You know, there's literally nothing here. 
nothing about it. In fact, they um, they they praise it. I love how the film doesn't waste a lot of time. It's a big ensemble piece, so it needs to establish how these characters are connected, and what's going on, blah, blah, blah. The action scenes are great. And you can tell that they've worked with a good stunt team. They have. Uh, all the women fight. All the women fight the way women with certain skills and body types would fight. There are no, oh, I'm going to go flip a whole man with my crotch scene. And I was very grateful. Yan and Margot take full advantage uh, of Harley's acrobatic background, blah, blah, blah. It's a great film that can confirm the queerness of two characters in the text without it being blink and you miss it. <sighs> oh, God damn, it's painful. If I had any criticisms, it would be that there's a big-lipped alligator moment during a scene between Ronan, Roman and Harley, uh, and that I do wish we could have spent just a bit more time with the other women. We do get to see them, and this is an ensemble, but Harley is the star. That's your only one criticism. Five out of five stars. It just exposes them. Three stars. Two. Sustained hate campaign. Everyone loves it. You know? Like, what? Like, how is this fresh? How How is this a fresh review? Like, good God. I'm, I'm so confused. This... Uh, this is a film that wants so desperately for us to believe it's edgy and twisted that it forgets to actually be edgy and twisted. How is that fresh? It's 2.5 out of 4. What? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyway. I just, yeah, I don't know. I just had to do a video on it because I'm sure there will be a bunch of people that will watch this movie and go exactly like me. And just be removed completely from the film because all you're doing is watching these idiots beating on caricatures of men. Uh, after, you know, we had to li sit there and listen to people going, cancel Joker, don't show it. There's going to be bombings, there's going to be murders. Oh my god. Well, double standard, mate. Double fucking standard. Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thank you so much. I've missed age. Take care.